Welcome everyone to Carol's Art Room. Today I'm going to do uh, a green wreath. I'm going to attempt a green wreath with some greens and gold. And I'm going to do it with uh, little blooms. So the colors I have are phalo green. Um, let me see what I got here. Phalo green that I've added this hooker's green to it and a little bit of black to make a dark green. That's those. I've got a metallic leaf green, which is this. I don't have much left. But... And I have Jadet, which is a deco art metallic. And then I have my gold, Rust-Oleum gold, and I've added some uh, crystal resin to it. So I'm just going to go over this um, older canvas that I'm not fond of. That's actually a board. So we'll see how that goes. I've got uh, Glidden Premium today. It's a lot thinner than the color to go. Whoops, there's a goober. Don't want that in there. Alright, that should be enough. Alright. Debating how if I should go. Let me see if this one of these was uh, opaque, this one, so I'm gonna put the dark green on the bottom. If you find them too thick a bit, they sometimes they thicken up. I'm I have a mixture of water and varnish that I mix together and I add it to my paints. Oh, oh, oh. That's not what I meant to do. I'm so used to doing blooms right from the center. So I'm just debating, how can I do this? If I can move it over. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'll try it. Anyway, I want to leave some white space in the middle. I'll try and blow it out as much as I can. This one is going to be a crazy one. add some more white but I think I ran out that's okay it'll all be good all right maybe I'll just add a bit more green here okay so green so this one this one on the top 23 colors and then 
I was going to do red in there too, but I think after it's done and dry, you could always add some little red berries to it. Okay, I'll put the gold next. See if I can blow it with my breath this time. Okay, let's just do that one is a bit thick on me. Gray cell activator. Let's try that one first. Too bad. All right, let's try this one. I have to take my glasses off because it's too close. Well, I think I'll try my straw next, but I think the mini blower would have blown it out a little too much, maybe. I'm not sure. Thank you. 
sometimes if you blow it fast, it works good. two are the best. I didn't blow them hard enough, I guess. bubbles popping through. Okay, I'm going to do some swirlies, backwards ones. drizzled here. spin it. Let me just
Well, we'll see how much stays on when I spin it. so pretty except for all these I did stir my some of my paints just before so it's air bubbles trying to get some now but I can do the rest later of course this is where I move some of the paint I didn't get much negative space on the outside, but I have to do them a lot smaller for a bigger, bigger canvas. Okay, I think this is pretty much done. I'm going to, I'll poke the rest of the Weight cells out after. What do you think? I think it's very pretty. I like it. Now you're gonna, you could always add some little, little berries after when it's dry. All right, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, thanks for watching. Come back to Carol's art room. I'll try and put the dried results at the end as long as it dries, dries okay. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, hit that bell and you'll be notified when I do a new video. Comment below. Share. Give me a thumbs up. All those things that helps my channel greatly thanks for watching bye bye hi everyone here's my dried <clears throat> bloom circle blooms in a circle it looks like a wreath I could put some little red berries on it it's very pretty I love it dried really good 
put it under my box to dry so it doesn't dry too fast and crack. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye.